everyone, Grant K here for the Flame Premium Learning Channel. In the previous video, we looked at the standard workflow for adding, deleting, rearranging and copying timeline effects in the sequence. This video will look at the different options you have for creating presets with timeline effects. This is something that all Flame Premium artists and Smoke Advance artists can use for iterative work and versioning. Here is a sequence with a variety of timeline effects applied. To copy any timeline effects to a desktop reel or media library folder, hold CONTROL and select the timeline effects you wish to save. Now drag the timeline effects to its destination. When you perform this operation, an effects clip is created. This effects clip contains all the timeline effects with their settings and animation. I must point out that this clip just contains the effects metadata and not the media. So if you were to drag and drop this onto another segment in the sequence, the timeline effects will be applied to that segment. If you want to keep the footage and the timeline effects together, just make a copy of the clip. Here are a few extra tips. If you want to create an effects clip from the timeline effects in the segment without switching to the Reels view, you would multi-select the timeline effects and meta-click on the effects pipeline. In the contextual menu, choose CREATE EFFECTS SETUPS. If you want to check, switch to the Reels view and you will see the new effects clip next to the active sequence in the Reel. The effects clips can also be loaded into BATCH or BFX. By calling up its properties, you can explode the clip and reveal the nodes used in the effects clip. To finish this section off, you can also organise the effects clips into reels and folders to build up a collection if required. The effects clips can also be archived like media, setups and snapshots. So restoring them is done through the same procedure via the Media Hub. The second half of this video will show you how to make your own presets for the Presets button available in every Timeline Effects. For example, I am going to navigate to this segment and add a colour warper to the shot. I'll quickly use the colour warper to create a look. Now I would like to keep this look as a preset that I can call up through the Colour Warper Timeline Effects whenever I need it. Currently, the Effects Preset button is greyed out. So the first thing we need to do is save the Colour Warper setup. Go into the Timeline Effects Editor and choose to save the setup. In order for this to work, you cannot save your setups in the Projects folder. You must be in the Software folder then the presets will be available in every project. So in the file browser, navigate to the Flame Premium or Smoke Advanced file path. This would normally be forward slash user, forward slash discrete, forward slash the Flame version. Here you will see all the folders broken down into their relevant sections. Go into the Colour Warper folder. The first time you do this, you need to create a Presets folder and go inside it. Now at this point, you could create more directories to organise your presets. But for now, give your Colour Warper setup a name and save it. Now exit the editor back to the Timeline view. Move over to the next segment in the sequence and select it. Now apply the Colour Warper Timeline effects to the segment. This time, the Presets button is active and if you click on the arrow, you will see your preset in the list. If the button does not refresh, wait a short while or restart the software and the preset should be detected. In the pop-up menu, choose the preset and confirm the update. You can save presets for all timeline effects and there is no limit to the number you can have. So in conclusion, you can store setups either as effects clips or presets directly in the Timeline view. However, they are still being applied to segments in the active sequence. In the next video, I will show you how to copy the existing Timeline effects from one sequence to another based on tape name and timecode. 
This is really handy if you receive a new conform of the same source clips and you want to copy and sync up all the effects from the original edit. Comments, feedback and suggestions are always welcome and appreciated. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to the Flame Premium Learning Channel for future videos.